Um, the latest polls, by the way, uh, Winston Peters, shows the Nationals ahead of Ardern's Labour Party with the Nationals partner, the ACT Party, third. Now, New Zealand's still a year and a half away from the next election. How much trouble is Jacinda Ardern in? I think that the uh, government's in serious trouble. The um, gloss has come off big time uh, from 2020, where they said that they'd done everything themselves, that's Labour, and got all the credit for it. And at the moment, things are finally poised, but I think there's going to be significant shifts going forward as well. The moral of the story, Mr. Peters. Uh, for anybody who's concerned about the shape and character and pathway down which New Zealand is going, is it's no time to sit on your laurels or sit on your fingers. It's now or never. Something has to happen, and they've got to do it in the next 12 months. Winston Peters, looking back, uh, Jacinda Ardern would not be the Prime Minister of New Zealand had you not, the election before last, agreed uh, for your party to back her and put her over the line. Do you look back at that and regret it at all? Look, you can have that view in your uh, judgment, your decision making. No, I don't, because it would be false to do that. What we did was to go into a uh, changed arrangement where capitalism might regain its human face. We had serious unemployment, we had serious housing crisis, health crisis, you name it. The police were run down, the defence was run down. It was not anything like the, the National Party and ACT Party might claim now. But we set out to change that. We made some dramatic change. Uh, and uh, we were a massive, you know, engine room for good change. We got a serious turnaround in our frontline police and the defence force became respectable amongst our allies in a whole lot. Of, and foreign affairs was dramatically changed to our advantage. But they took all the credit for that and got all the victory at, at 2020 election, particularly with the lockdown and COVID and the so-called narrative about being kind and caref being careful. But we were also at the same time a massive handbrake. And this naked racism, this divisive separatism, which is so destructive of any society, uh, was either not, it was held back or kept secret from us. And that all the evidence is there for that, right? If we hadn't have gone with them, you would have never heard of some of those people ever again in politics. But them's the breaks. And at this point in time, I can spend a lot of time trying to explain what we did unanimously as a party called New Zealand First, or get on with getting the future corrected, and that's what I intend to do, the latter. Winston Peters, always great to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time.